Imagine the sky igniting with mysterious radio signals from 90 light years away, a whisper from a civilization beyond imagination. In 1964, Russian astronomer Nikolai Kardashev created a scale to measure progress from type zero like us with 18 terawatts today to type seven transcending reality. With just 0.7% of Earth's energy from fossil fuels, humanity stands at the starting line. But where will the journey to type one, two or beyond lead us? Join us to explore the path from Earth to the eternal cosmos where secrets await. Why did Kardashev choose energy as the measure? While working on the SETI program, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, he studied radio signals from deep space and realized energy reflects a civilization's evolution. Initially, the scale had three types, type one mastering a planet, type two a star, and type three a galaxy, designed to detect extraterrestrial signs. Later, thanks to string theory and multiverse ideas from scientists like Michio Kaku, it expanded to type four to seven, showcasing limitless potential. Today, with 18 terawatts, 10 to the power of 13 watts, we use only 0.7% of Earth's 10 to the power of 16 watts, relying on oil and coal. How do we rise from type zero? Through global unity and a sustainable energy shift in 100 to 200 years, as Kaku predicts, we're at type zero, humanity's humble beginning. With 18 terawatts, the power of billions of horses, we depend on fossil fuels, ancient dinosaur remains. NASA estimates Earth's potential at 10 to the power of 16 watts, 500 times our current use, yet we tap just 0.7% via early solar and wind. Why are we limited? Lack of technology and cooperation hold us back. Michio Kaku forecasts type one in 100 to 200 years with AI and unified governance. What is type one? It's a civilization mastering all planetary energy, sun, wind, waves, even earthquakes. How do we get there? By building global energy grids and using fusion reactors to tame nature. At type one, everything transforms. With 10 to the power of 16 watts, smart cities run on clean fusion power, ending pollution. Global grids deliver solar energy from deserts and wave power from oceans. Weather control, tested by NASA satellites, ends droughts by directing rain clouds and weakens hurricanes. Earthquakes are minimized by stabilizing tectonic pressure. How do we survive to reach this? We must overcome the great filter, war or ecological collapse, requiring global teamwork in 200 years per Kaku. Society unites with maglev trains connecting the planet, but unity is key to avoid self-destruction. Now type two harnesses 10 to the power of 28 watts from our star, a leap requiring 10 billion times Earth's energy. Those 90 light year signals near HD 11664595 might come from here. Possibly a Dyson sphere, like Tabby Star's 25% dimming suggests, per NASA's 2015 observations. This megastructure built with orbiting mirrors captures all solar output, powering planetary terraforming and antimatter ships for star travel. Cyborgs thrive in megastructures, free from scarcity, using asteroid mine metals. How do they hide? By emitting infrared, detectable by advanced telescopes. This stage, 1,000 to 2,000 years away per Kaku, demands mastering stellar engineering. Could we build it? Type three takes 10 to the 36 power watts, controlling an entire galaxy like the Milky Way's 100 billion stars. With wormholes for instant travel and self-replicating nanoswarms building Dyson spheres, they terraform planets into diverse habitats as NASA's 2023 infrared spikes hint. Society becomes a galactic network with digital consciousness and cultures spanning stars. Kaku estimates 100,000 to 1 million years, requiring black hole energy and nanotech mastery. How do we detect them? Infrared anomalies from multiple Dyson spheres are clues, though they might hide to avoid cosmic threats. This is galactic dominion, possible with peace and innovation. Type four escalates to 10 to the 44th power watts, mastering the universe's energy. They manipulate space-time with Planck energy, the smallest unit of power, opening wormholes to travel billions of light-years instantly 
As Kaku predicts in about one million years, black holes are harnessed as power plants, converting their mass into energy, while matter is reshaped into new planets or stars. How do they survive? By merging with AI, becoming near immortal entities that upload minds into cosmic networks. Imagine a society where death is optional. Could we adapt to this? Type 5 commands 10 to the 52nd power watts across the multiverse, a collection of parallel universes. They create new realities with custom physics, like gravity-defying worlds or time-reversed galaxies, using energy from colliding universes, a concept Kaku explores. This acts like a lab, testing life forms or technologies across dimensions. How do they manage? With advanced simulations, they design universes as easily as we build sandcastles. This stage beyond 10 million years raises a question. Would we recognize our own universe's limits? Type 6 reaches 10 to the power of 60 watts, rewriting the meta laws that govern physics itself. Existing as pure consciousness, they shape reality like a cosmic programmer, altering constants like the speed of light or gravity's pull. Kaku suggests this could mean living as energy patterns, free from physical form, possibly 50 to 100 million years away. How do they function? By transcending matter, they exist in a state we can't yet comprehend. Think of it as uploading the universe's code. Could this erase the need for a physical body? Finally, Type 7 transcends all with infinite energy, controlling the omniverse. All realities, real and fictional. They might be the origin of existence, a god in scientific terms, existing beyond time and space, as Kaku speculates. Picture them as architects of every story, from our world to imagined ones, using infinite power to sustain all. How do we reach this? With tech beyond imagination? But it poses a challenge. Would eternal power lead to bliss or boredom? Detectable? Likely not, as they operate on a plane we can't perceive with current science. From Type 0's fossil fuels to Type 7's omniverse rain, our story unfolds. You've journeyed from Earth to the cosmos edge. Do you enjoy exploring this topic further? Look forward to What If Humanity Became Type 7 Civilization? Coming soon on our channel. Subscribe and stay curious.